O'Reilly Auto Parts for all of your car care needs. We are closed. We are convenient. We are known for our guaranteed everyday low prices. Excellent customer service from professional parts people that you know you can trust. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts today. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. You know what I'd love to see? You know how sometimes there's action and odds on the smack off? There have been over the years. How about some action and odds on the tour stop announcement coming up? Who do you think is going to get the bounce back door stop, the rebooted door stop, the first one in years. Hey, nut, stuck nut. I haven't even looked at this myself. When was the last tour stop we had? Not a station visit, but an actual world tour event. Hey, XR4TI, wake the hell up over there. When was the last world tour event? All right, so if they were taking action, who would you get down on? Where do you think I'm going to go? Of all the markets, and we've got like 200 radio stations, affiliated markets, where do you think I'm going to go? Do you want it? What's your argument for it? Or if you don't really want it or you're not concerned about that and you had to get down, if you were a betting person, where would you bet? Where do you think I'm going to go when we reboot this thing? The announcement's coming up in a few days. Make sure. Make sure you're there for it. 1 800 636 86 86. All right, so the Mets have officially arrived. How do I know that? How do I know that? Because they've already got a player declaring that he will not talk to the media all season long. That's how I know the Mets are already here. There's an old saying in baseball that usually accompanies the start of position players reporting to camp. You've heard it before. Hope springs eternal. You know, everybody is 0-0. Everybody has a chance. Everybody is happy. Except, of course, this year. And we've covered this already at great length. This year, everybody is not happy. In fact, this year, everybody is pissed. You know, all that flowery, new beginning crap is now 100% thorn, 0% rose. Guys are not showing up with a smile on their face. Guys are showing up with a scowl. Guys are ready to find a mic and rip the Astros apart. At least one Atlanta Braves said they all deserve a beating. Every one of them deserves a beating. And every fan living outside the 713 is right behind them with their own pitchfork and torch. So, it's already been really hard to look ahead to the 2020 season when baseball is stuck in the ditch of 2017 and they're bleeding out. Speaking of ditches and living in the past, guess who's back with the mess? The boar hunter himself, Yoannis Cespedes. You remember Yo, right? Yo, 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 let that ride, yo. Yo. Who said that? What famous moment did that come from on the show? Yo, yo, let that ride, yo. You got that, Alvy? Gary, do you think the media's out to get you? There it is. Oh, yeah. Media, whatever image that the media gives you is what society will most likely have on you. Yeah, but if a guy's down on the street, he's getting into trouble, you don't expect the media not to report it, do you? Well, that's just that's part of business, though. Somewhat of that, you got to keep your name clean, but uh, you can be scarred by the media. But, you know, I just try to keep my nose clean and just live a regular life and don't get caught up in it. Yeah, see, I was going to say, Gary, you have kept your nose clean. I mean, I don't hear any stories about Gary Trent sucking dope out of a Coke can or anything. <laughs> yo, 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 let that ride, yo, let that ride. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, let that ride. Yo, let that ride, Gary Trent. Yo, 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 Cespedes, the former All-Star. Why am I talking about this? Because he stepped in a hole on his ranch in Florida while attempting to free a wild boar. He exploded his ankle. He missed all of 2019, and he voided 30 mil on his contract. As always, yo, hope that was worth it, but I know it wasn't. That, Yoannis Cespedes, the same guy who has not played a full season since 2015, and has not played more than 81 games since 2016. If availability is your best ability, this dude's barely able. He showed up to camp yesterday, and by all accounts, he did look good. He did. 
And the media better get used to going off their eyes with this guy and not their ears because he made it very clear. Whatever duct tape is holding him together is also going right over his mouth at the start of the season because he told reporters he is not talking to them. Quote, not today, not tomorrow, not at all this year. End quote. And when one journo tried to follow up with a quick why not, Cespedes replied, quote, because I don't want to. End quote. Excellent. Why answer questions about being a failed zookeeper when you don't have to? Why relive the horrors of tragically losing a showdown with a wild boar in the middle of a season when you don't want to? Yo, yo, I see you working, yo. In times like these, you gotta place that anger and that disdain somewhere, right? You gotta channel that somehow. Why not put it on the media? I mean, yes, it was you, yo, who was down on your ranch rehabbing two busted heels. And yes, it was you, yo, who decided that it would be a good time to go check out the boar traps. And yes, it was you, yo, who lit 30 mil on fire by refusing to stay off your feet during your paid time away to rest and get better. But why own any of that? Why take responsibility with the people who write the stories when you can just put it on them and tell them to jog on? Am I right, yo? For an entire season, no less. Not just for now, but for an entire season, which you did yesterday. I'll say this. As bad as that is, and it is, it still beats the alternative in that clubhouse. Remember last year? Jason Vargas tried to swing on a reporter. Remember that? Not only that, but... He had...